Joy at June 36th and June 38th. A one way reported head on collision between two vehicles, 31 Zipper Road. There he is. So we're doing a full-scale uh, reenactment from the start of an accident all the way through uh, for the ramifications. And uh, we're doing this because this is the 100 deadliest days of summer. It's really 260 uh, uh, teenagers would, uh, will die every month due to distracted driving and drunk driving. Uh, every single month of the summer, starting with Memorial Day going through Labor Day. And so this is probably one of the most important things we'll do in the town of Clarkstown um, this year. And we're going to continue to do this to try and remind people, or particularly remind young people, um, when you get into cars, um, you know, what? with other young people, uh, try not to, you know, distract them. People need to pay attention and never, ever, ever get into a vehicle with somebody who's driving, whether altered or impaired, ever. Uh, today we'd like to get a visual education to the, uh, the seniors at the Clarkstown uh, North, Clarkstown South about the, the, the dangers of, of texting and driving, drinking and driving, and, and talking on a phone while driving. Unfortunately, in the town of Clarkstown, over the past few years, we've had too many fatal accidents, and, and, and a lot of them could have been prevented, one based on, on drinking and driving, um, impaired driving, and, and some of the other, uh, when he did the accident investigations, found out that some of the drivers were texting. And, and not only they bring in danger to themselves, but also their passengers and the drivers of the other car. A lot of these can be prevented, and we're very serious about educating these students as, as they go on to college and, and graduate high school about you know, the, the dangers of, of not really paying attention when you're driving. When, when you see what we do and what we go through, and, and I could tell you an example of, of one call that I took when I was a patrolman was a fatal accident of a young girl. To, to see the devastation on a family's when, when someone dies or gets seriously injured in a car accident is just something that's always stuck with me. And if we can help prevent that, uh, it's a great thing. Well, hopefully students recognize the importance of how um, critical it is that they are constantly keeping their eyes on the road, making sure that they are safe, uh, and more importantly, that they realize the consequences uh, when, when things go wrong. We have about 500 students coming out this morning. Uh, it's really important as we enter into the 100, the 100 deadliest days. Uh, that students have awareness to distracted driving. Uh, we're hoping that, you know, seeing the, the actual firefighters and first responders in action uh, creates a level of awareness that, that is impactful for them. This year, my 13-year-old, whose life was taken by a drunk driver, ended. Her classmates will be coming home this year from their graduation. My daughter's not going to graduate this year. There'll be an empty seat there for Larissa because one person, one person made a poor decision to get behind the wheel while he was double the legal limit on a beautiful, sunny 4 o'clock Memorial Day weekend. When do you guys think drunk driving happens? Most people say New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving. No, absolutely not. It starts on Memorial Day, this weekend. And that brings us to why we're here. We're here to share information with you guys. Drunk driving is not an accident. When people say it was a drunk driving accident, it gets me very angry because you make the choice. He, this person made a choice to get behind the wheel. Before you guys go out to celebrate, and I really hope you're all gonna be enjoying graduation, kick off to summer and summer plans and summer jobs, I ask of you to please make a decision on how
how you'll be getting home after celebrating. What happens when you celebrate? Most people have alcohol included somewhere. So if you just make a plan, there's no reason why you can't get an Uber. But once you kill somebody, there's no going back. You can't redo or make a choice that you've already made. As I stand here today before you guys, Larissa would have graduated from Clarkstown South. Please, think about the other people that you're impacting on the roads. It's not just about the drunk driver. The drunk driver can take out one of your family members and your loved ones. So I hope that through my message today and sharing how I lost my daughter, Larissa, you will take a part of this with you over the weekend. If you see your friends getting behind the wheel, nobody has to be a hero. Peer pressure, peer pressure is what it's really about. Oh, I'm fine, it's only three miles away. Well, guess what, Larissa was killed three miles from a farmhouse that we owned upstate New York. There was nobody there. The average traffic that goes to that intersection on the busiest holiday weekend is 12 cars per hour. What are the chances that Larissa will be coming home with an ice cream cone, an ice cream for her sisters and family? to be taken out by a drunk driver who T-boned my huge Chevy Suburban. Nobody plans on killing anybody. I don't think anybody here wakes up and says, I think I'm gonna go drink and drive today and kill someone. So that's the message I'm bringing to you guys. Make a good plan. You only have one life and you don't have a redo when it comes to getting behind the wheel. I want to first thank you all for attending this morning. I know a lot of your colleagues opted out and elected not to be here, so it's, it's really great that this group took the time to be here this morning to see this scenario from beginning to end. The fire department, the police department, the ambulance, the town of Clarkstown, the community, we think that this is one of the most important programs that you do see, especially at this time of year. As you know, I do work for the school district. I've seen all of you enter kindergarten 13 years ago. I've watched you grow up. In two weeks, I'll watch you all graduate. And we're so proud of you and your accomplishments. One of the toughest parts about working for the school district and being a volunteer firefighter is that every time we have a situation similar to this, and unfortunately there are a lot of them, we don't know who the occupants are gonna be when we get to that scene. Whatever job when I'm assigned, whether it be cutting a door, dealing with the victim, whatever it may be, we always look at the occupant. And unfortunately many times it's been one of you. And I've loaded too many kids into ambulances, I've loaded too many kids into stat flights, And it, it wears you down. It hurts everybody involved that see you go through that pain. I've seen it on both sides. I've seen the individual that was injured and I've seen the individual in handcuffs. And both sides' lives are ruined. I'm not going to stand up here and lecture you about what you've learned for many, many years about being safe. We want you to have a wonderful graduation. We wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. But please, remember what you saw. Everybody's going to go home after this. Everybody is safe. But this is a simulation. In real life, sometimes people don't go home. So please use what you saw today to make the best decisions you can. Enjoy graduation, enjoy your summer. Be safe, take care of yourself, take care of your colleagues, and good luck with everything you do.
So we kick off the 100 deadliest days of the summer. That's the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day when we see a dramatic rise in motor vehicle deaths. Each month during this period nationwide, 260 teenagers will die in motor vehicle crashes. These crashes are often preventable. The two biggest causes of vehicle crashes for younger drivers is distracted driving and driving while impaired or altered by drugs or alcohol. As we enter the summer months, many of your friends are home from college. It'll be great to see them and attend parties and barbecues or just to hang out. However, studies show that multiple young people in a car causes distraction and unfortunately leads to crashes and unfortunately deaths. Worse still, getting together, celebrating graduation, it's going to be wonderful. But have a plan and please don't drink and drive or get in a vehicle with a driver who was altered. We don't want uh, to have a happy time end up like what you're about to see. This is real life. This happens far too often. This happens in our town far too often. And it's totally, totally preventable. Finally, you'll witness a mock arraignment of a driver after a DWI field sobriety test is administered by the Clarkstown police. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to uh, perform a few tests, uh, you know, field sobriety tests. Just want you to listen to me first before you, you do them. We do like three tests, and then we're going to have you uh, do one other thing. All right, first thing I want you to do is I want you to put your feet together. Your hands down. Listen to me first. All right, your hands down. I'm going to have you take one foot off the foot, whatever foot you'd like, off the, off the ground. You're going to hold it up six inches. And I want you to count one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000 until I tell you to stop. So when you're ready to go, you let us know. Do you have any medical issues at all? No medical issues? Okay. All right, so whatever foot you want to start on, you go right ahead and start. Okay. Okay, you can stop. Okay, the next thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to just follow my lead. Let me perform it first, and then you're going to you know, do what I, what I do here. There's a, a line right here on the center. You see the line? Okay, what I want you to do, we're going to do what's called the walk and turn. I'm going to have you take nine paces down. You're going to pivot, and then take nine paces back. It's going to be heel to toe. It's not going to be with a wide gap at all. You're going to have heel to toe. It's going to be similar to this. Your hands are going to be down at your side. And you're going to go all the way down until you hit nine. And then you're going to pivot. And then heel the toe and work all the way back to uh, where you started. All right, do you understand those instructions? And just let me know when you're ready. You start whatever foot you want. Very well. All right, the last one we're going to do is it's called the gaze nystagmus test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my pen. You see the pen? What I want you to do, you're going to touch the tip of the pen with, uh, with whatever hand you want. So reach out, touch the tip of the pen with a finger. Okay, do you wear, uh, do you wear glasses at all? No. Okay. All right, what I want you to do, you're going to follow the tip of the pen you're going to move your eyes only. You're not going to move your head. Okay, just follow it. I'm going to go out, back the other way, and then stop in the middle, and then go up and down. All right, so just follow the tip of the pen without moving, without moving your head. I'm going to start in the middle again. Try not to move your head, all right? Okay. The last thing we're going to do is you're going to submit to a, a quick uh, alcohol center just to test to see if there's any positive readings for alcohol in your system or in your, on your breath or in your body.
based on our quick investigation, uh, we found that you were under the influence of alcohol. We're going to have you uh, just turn around and put your hands behind your back. All right. to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to me. You're under arrest. You've been charged with criminally negligent homicide, vehicular assault, and, uh, and manslaughter. How does the defendant plead? Your Honor, Joseph Santangelo from the Office of the Public Defender on behalf of the defendant. The defendant will plead not guilty. You have the right to remain silent in this court. You also have the right to have an attorney present each and every time you're in court. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you free of charge. Do the district attorney have any position on bail? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the people be requesting uh, remand without bail. The defendant caused the death of a 17-year-old high school student two weeks before prom, and the people will be presenting the case to the grand jury. Mr. Santangelo? Your Honor, this is a high school student. He has no criminal history. It's his first offense. He is scheduled to go to prom within two weeks. He's got a bright future ahead of him. He's poised to go to college at the end of the summer. Uh, people are going to request uh, that uh, he, the bail not be set. That application is denied. The defendant is remanded to the Rockin County Jail for further proceedings. This matter is adjourned. The point of today is, hopefully you'll remember this, to educate and to inform, and most of all to remind you to make really good decisions. Avoid being in a car with somebody who's under the influence. Don't drive. Personally, take that commitment not to drive if you yourself are under the influence. And when you're in a car with your friends, pay attention, because distracted driving is the number one killer of young people. I want to thank the Clarkstown Police Department I want to thank our District Attorney, Tom Walsh, the New City Fire Department, the New City Ambulance Corps, Higgins Funeral Home, who all participated in this, and most of all to the Clarkstown School District Superintendent Bayako, and for the uh, principals and the teachers from North and South for helping uh, put this together with us as well.